Hi, everybody. Welcome to my presentation. My name is King Sam Luo, and I'm a graduate student at the Department of Engineering of Tsumiya University, Japan. Today, I'm going to present a paper entitled Sensor Network for Monitoring Nivestack Behaviors. And in this paper, we talk about a specific design of low power wide area sensor network for monitoring Nivestack behaviors using four different wireless communication technologies. Before my presentation, I'd like to express the depth of my gratitude to our research team. They are doing many things which are innovative and helpful. We've also got so many people that we'd love to thank for their contribution to this research. And the part of the research results was obtained from the commissioned research by the National Institute of Information and Communication Technology, Japan. Also, this research is supported by JSPS. We'd like to thank the Japanese government for their support. Well, first, I'll introduce, introduce you the background of our research. To our knowledge, fine-grained, low-stress feeding management can reduce morbidity, increase reproductive efficiency, and improve raw milk quality. This picture shows the relation among cow's health, behavior, and milk quality. It's of great importance to monitor the amount of activity and the feeding grass increasing. For example, cows digest grass through bacteria in the lumen. If a cow overeats, the lumen becomes acidity and leads to the death of bacteria, which will cause liver damage. So we set our goals in this research, that is to clarify the relation between the quantity of milk and the behavior of cows such as feeding grass, walking distance, active time, and health conditions. There are many studies about investigating Nivstark behaviors. For example, a location detection technique was used to track a house cow using GPS tag, as shown on the left. On, and on the right, a method was introduced to track the movement of cows that used the black and white pattern on the surface of a cow. Both of them focus on the use of a house cow, and there is no research about census network with real-time data communication for monitoring nip stock in real farm condition. As, as shown in this table, when designing the monitoring system, several important conditions must be in must be under consideration. To meet those requirements, we propose the design of this network consisted of four different wireless communication systems. The most important part of our system is the transmission of sensor data from cows on the grassland, where there is a distance up to two kilometers away from the base station. And there are various obstacles interfering with communication. So we decided to use the LoLa to send data from the body sensor, which is a low cost wide area networking technology with outstanding performance in long range, low power communication. And we use LTE to upload data to a cloud so that we can view data anytime and anywhere through mobile phone or other devices and take measures timely if there are any problems. In our previous experiments, we found that because of obstacles, it's very difficult to send data directly to the office, where there is a crucial stable electricity supply for uploading, for uploading data. So we set up a base station in a place with good communication and take Zigbee, a kind of medium distance media, a medium distance communication technology to transfer data from the base station to the office. Finally, 350 megahertz is taken to send pH data from the lumen to the body sensor. This system diagram shows the construction of our sensor network. The repeater combined with LTE and ZB is set up in the office to transfer data to a cloud in real time. In the initial stage, we set up three LoLa and the Zigbee so that three channels can be used. The base station with the 500 meter distance away from the office and the sensors attached to a cow on the grassland are using solar panel and battery to supply power consumption. We embed a GNSS for monitoring movement and a 
accelerometer for mon monitoring the amount of eating grass into a box. The CPU is used to control the operation and data trans transmission of sensors. This table shows the transmission time of LoLa with different parameters when the payload is 50 bytes. We use the combination that bandwidth is 60 and 62.5 kilohertz and spreading factor is 12 for its good performance in long range communication. And the transmission time would be 4.3 seconds when the total payload is 38 bytes. And in order to save energy, we take SNP and active timing mode for sensors. As shown in the picture, there is 30 milliamp hours for deep SNP mode and 260 milliamp hours for active mode, which takes 10 seconds for measuring and five, five seconds for transmitting. If we set the cow sensor to wake up every X seconds, we can estimate the power consumption Y by using the following equation. There are some questions about system shutdown due to insufficient power supply. Well, when we choose to set up the parameter to send data every five minutes, the maximum power consumption was 41 milliamp hours, and the NIPO works about 50 hours. We have referred to a monthly report of Japan Meteorological Agency and found that the average daily sunny hour is more than five hours in the farm, even in winter. And according to our calculated result, it's enough to cover the power consumption and there is no worry about, about system shutdown. And there are also some questions about how many NIP stock we can monitor. In order to make full, full use of channels, a, dura a duration time division mod mode is under consideration. The transmitters set with the same modulation parameters would get an accurate start time of transmission from GPS to avoid communication collision. Moreover, there is no risk for other selected wireless communication system due to different bandwidth of LoLa and ZigBee. And if we, set, if we let the transmitters send the payload every X minutes and assume that the duration of communication was T seconds for one payload. It implies that we can calculate the number, the number of NIP stock with 15 channels by the equation. For example, if the duration time is five seconds and the transmitters send time every five minutes, we can monitor six, 60 cows with each channel in this model. Since the current implementation consists of three loader devices, 180 cows can be monitored. So far, we have tested the effectiveness of our sensor network in a farm. Those pictures show the whole experimental environment. We established a repeater with LTE and ZB in the cow barn and a base station with a solar panel in the field, which is 30 meters away from the cow barn. We also designed a box attached to a cow for placing sensors and a waterproof plastic tube for the pH sensor. The solar panel charges the battery stably in the daytime and the LoLa GPS accelerometer are assembled in the back of the solar panel. Well, as shown in the video, in order to prevent damage or falling of the box caused by biting, fighting, or strenuous moving, we use elastic straps to fix the box on the back of the cow. From the simulation results, we confirmed the possibility of transmitting sensor data to the server and monitoring cow's behavior in real time through our system. This graph illustrates the location of tin cows on the map. To conclude, we explained the purpose of our research and the detail of sensor network design to monitor cows. We think that if our system works for cows, it's also possible to use the same system for other animals. We took deep snip mode into consideration for power consumption and used two different voltage for the sensor 
for the sensors and the CPU. If we can use the same voltage, we do not need any voltage conversion, and we can reduce the power consumption by about 30% based on our experience. We conducted a simulation experiment in a farm, and the results show that our sensor network worked well to track the movement of cows. After finishing the field test, we are going to find the correlation among cow's behavior, health condition, and milk quantity, and utilize AI algorithm to construct a machine learning model. And in the future, we not only improve the quality of dairy products, but also promote the development of tourism and healthy industry and finally achieve regional activation of Japan by promoting the industrialization of agriculture. That's it. Thank you for your listening and please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions.